Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about to connecting SQL Server with SSMS. In my last video I discussed about to how to download and install uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So let's uh, see how to uh, connect uh, SQL Server after installation. So right here, let's go down. So at Microsoft SQL Server Tools and here you get Microsoft SQL Server 2017. So inside there you can't find Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So at here, now uh, there you can find inside Microsoft SQL Server Tools and here you can find SSMS Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So let's click there. So this is my second video about SQL Server. So Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the latest version of uh, 17.8 and this is the date 2018. So this is the window of SQL Server and here uh, first is server type. So inside server uh, type, you get database engine, analysis service, reporting service, integration service. So if you like to do the operation on database, so you have to select a database engine. So then you can do insert, update, delete, or modify this kind of operation. And here I want analysis service, reporting service, integration service. So this to other things. So about integration service, I made some. Uh, I made to few videos so if you want then here you there you can check in my uh, channel so about to this three i will discuss later so add here to do uh, operation on database so we have to select database engine now here after server name the next part is server name so add your local host local host means you can connect to or uh, sql server with local machine here so you can give local host uh, here and here uh, inside to authentication mail so add a different authentication so most probable are windows authentication and sql server authentication windows authentication means the username for windows and whatever the password uh, you have given so that password that is it. i didn't give any password at the time of installation so that here it's uh, taking only username so uh, by give, by providing this kind of information, so here after you can connect. So let's click on connect to check. So it's uh, connected now. Now here after, let's uh, disconnect and here after. So you can give server name. So server name can be a PC name. So here my PC name is Sam. So at here you can give Sam. So both that will work. Now here after let's uh, disconnect and here after uh, connect it again. Uh, so here a uh, uh, local host has been done and now save Sam. So this is the uh, PC name and here after you can give dot also to connect uh, with server with here. Yeah. So it's connected now. Now here after let's uh, try one more time. So this time using uh, authentication and here. So you can give authentication SQL Server authentication. So at here, uh, this is asking. So here you, you have to enter username and password. So at the time of installation of uh, uh, SQL Server, so I have given SA. SA is the administrator. So this is the username, and here I have given the password one two three four. So you can give uh, username and password. Here after you can connect. So this is the way we can connect and uh, here after uh, you can give uh, here so you can give at your in server name your IP address so IP address for your laptop or so if you have one more thing at here if you are working some centralized uh, or server so at your the IP address is uh, or uh, will be something like uh, 192, 170, uh, uh, 0.2, 0.6, so like this. So at here, this is the one center system, and here different users are working on one or database. 
So at here in so this so at here you can give a SQL server or uh, miss IP address also. So IP address must be your system now. System IP address. So at here this is the uh, Microsoft SQL server. So this is the purpose is used to uh, do operation on your local device. So at here this is the SQL server for local device. And uh, somewhere, if you are working for large industry, there you get, or uh, they have for uh, data big database. And big database means uh, uh, there is a big database, and they are administrator provides certain co constant to the different user to do some operation on the database. So, at uh, this kind, of, uh, this situation is uh, suitable for practice purpose. So, you can do the practice on SQL Server in your local machine. You can. Or uh, you can do some creating query on the table, modifying, editing, store procedure, proce procedure, operation, view operation. So this kind of four things you can do in your local machine. So if you get the IP address, uh, then you can access the centralized database server, and there you can do some kind of operation. And uh, here, this the uh, authentication method is the two type of authentication mode: Windows authentication mode and SQL Server authentication mode. So, SQL Server authentication mode you can give at your the password one two three four, and hereafter you can connect. And hereafter, let's go to the security. And hereafter, login. So, at your different users are available. So, at your this the SA, and here Sam uh, slash Adam, and this the uh, or you can, or if you want them from here, you can create a new login also. So this comes under um, uh, SQL Server authentication mode. So this uh, this is the second video of uh, as Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So this video, my intention is to show you the uh, how many ways you can give uh, server name at here. The first way you have you can give IP address, second dot, uh, third. You can give uh, at your uh, laptop name or your PC name, and here you can give local host also. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So I'll see you next week. Thank you.